It's nighttime, nighty night. The receiver's across the way. This is kind of an industrial park. But we are going to turn on our green APU. Get the AC going. We've got our window covers on. and Oh, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. And just like that, good morning, Florida. Let's air up and see if these gates are open. Straight ahead is where we are going. There was the gates were closed last night, and kind of want to know where they want me before I head in there because it looks tight. Looks like they have some built broken up concrete back there or something. I don't know, but that's what I saw for satellite imaging. And then last night you can like see straight through the uh, warehouse, just a bunch of pallets and stuff, kind of like what I got, just miscellaneous. So we'll see. I might walk over there because turn radius on this thing is not the best. Looks like they're unloading that uh, red truck. Looks like they're doing the whole hand cart thing and then forklift. So, well, they got kind of a roundabout right there. Oh no, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I could pull in straight, but I want him to be able to get out. I don't want to block this whole industrial park that I'm in right now, so we'll just nose in there and see what we got. After we pass this busy uh, two lane.
Across that two lane and they are already uh, unloading so it's almost nine o'clock in the morning and this popped up last night um it was like 10 it was 1010 earlier this morning it was 11 10 and last night i bid 1350 and uh early this morning i got a call right here woke me up out of my sleep uh for my alarm so i kind of just snoozed it and um i'll check now and see if that's still available because there's only 80 miles away and if they're done with me at 9 30 i got plenty of time to get there i didn't take it last night or accept it because i just didn't want to piss off convoy and that's the kind of stuff that, that that's mind-boggling for me for uber and convoy it's like it's trucking sometimes <laughs> you might be there a little bit late but as long as you're not there at past five o'clock or past three o'clock uh if you're going to be there at 12 30 or, or one but i'm hesitant to take that load because i don't want to get in trouble with uh convoy's scorecard or uber freight's scorecard it's just, uh, it's, I don't know. I guess I want you to 100% be free and clear that morning and already at the ship or sleeping. But, uh, but sometimes trying to back back loads, but that'd be a nice load to get me back home. Uh, 1950 down, 1350 back. That'd be a win. I do that all the time. So we'll see if that's still available and how quick we're unloaded here. And so let's see if we can bid on that and win it um, from Convoy because the email's right there. But when I was in the app, it wasn't showing. So let's see if we can confirm that. And uh, 12 noon, we're 80 miles away because it's above Jacksonville by a little bit, almost on the state line of Florida. Um, and let's see what happens here. So if we get it, we got it. All right, we got it. Yeah, I typed in the address already. So yeah, if we left right now, we'd be there at 1050. So. They're halfway done back there. They're quick move, quick movers. So I'm glad that red truck was out of here. It might all work out for the perfect, but if we if we don't get this one, then we're gonna be uh, getting worse scorecard for a convoy, which you can see right here is 20% fall offs because last time they didn't unload my trailer, so I had to return it to shipper. So that's trucking. We'll see. But I really like that Spanish moss stuff. That's pretty. Cool. Let's get unloaded and then get back towards that pickup. You're all set, buddy. You guys are quick. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, buddy. Take care. Yeah, it'd be the fastest unload you get all, all week. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 20 minutes gone. So, got our bills. Looks like we got about an hour and a half, uh, hour and 20 minutes to make it to uh, pick up going back home. I love it when a plan comes together, but it doesn't always. So, let's get back towards the house because that drops about 15 miles from the house but first to see if we can make this turn we're gonna have to uh jimmy a little bit <laughs> to not hit their door not hit their gate But if we back it up, back it up, Terry. If you need some firewood, come on by. We got a bunch of it right there. That should be good. There we go. Like a glove. We'll fight this two lane. Uh, well, actually, it's like we got a little gap right here. Nobody coming from the right. Clear on the left. Okay. My trailer's scraped coming in here on the very, very back. Probably gonna scrape on the way out too. Let's see. No, it's okay on that one. All right, let's turn and burn. Let's get up to uh, Jacksonville.
And I reset my um, tripometer, and that, and that resets your miles per gallon for coming down here. And we ran 437 miles, and we're at 7.4. Light load though, not bad, but you gotta save fuel where you can. We were running 63 to 65 miles an hour the whole way. Just crossing over it. We just barely go over it to get to where we just were. I think it was called High Springs. And there is 75 right below us. Take it to the right, it goes to Tampa. Take it to the left, it goes back up towards Atlanta, Georgia, towards the 10. We're kind of cutting across an angle back towards the 10, towards Jacksonville. Okay. Thanks, Miata. Miata lets me get to, oh, Miata's backing up because Miata doesn't know which, which exit it was. They'll figure it out. All these uh, memorial crosses here are pretty awesome. The Army, Marines, Navy, just different. Different service, service men and women who have, uh, I guess from this county or from this town, uh, valiantly gave them their, their life or their service. Butler, Butler's name of the town. And we're cruising through it. Butler Elementary right there. That's pretty cool. I thought the guys like to see that. All the flags. Deborah Floyd. Freddie Floyd. John Ginda. Wilbur Godwin. Thank you for your service, everyone. I come from a half military background, and both my grandpa and my grandma were uh, on my mom's side, military. My dad's dad was military. So, I mean, everyone was, every one of my grandparents was military. My grandma, my dad's mom, was a Marine. But she was a, she was a can't tell her, can't tell her no kind of lady. She, she did what she wanted. So she was a firecracker, to say the least. Uh, out of my, my spirit from her and from my dad and I get my drive I think because of that side of the family you know my uh, grandpa's side uh, he served for 20 years and I forget my grandma didn't serve 20 I don't believe my dad my mom's mom but I don't know the whole history of that my, my dad's dad died when he was 12 not from from uh, service just from health complications I, I, I think he had cancer or something I, I, I believe he had cancer but uh, my dad kind of was a one to raise the family, so that's crazy. Though, but everybody in my think about it, everybody in my one of my grandparents served in the military, and my brother did 22 years, almost 23. So thank you all for your service. It means a lot to us. So we are exiting Pecan Park Road, which is a loves um, right here, right before you get out of Florida. Last truck stop for the agricultural station and the way station. Fresh clock, and we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. Hopefully, it's not too. I've never been here to pick this up. It says paper rolls, so they're gonna be heavy, but it pays for half this load will pay for my fuel, or maybe less than half will pay for all the fuel I'm gonna use to go down here and back. So that's a blessing. I love it when no, otherwise, I'd be trying to get Savannah looking for something on the board today and, and keep looking, stopping and looking at the board. Uh, now I just have something already booked, so that's awesome. We're gonna be. If we kept going there right now, we're only six miles away. We would be there uh, 45 minutes early. So we're gonna stop real quick for 15 at Love's and just get a little little refresh. Slept good last night at that industrial park though. All right. And yeah, let's get into this Love's. A little bit, I don't know who designs these Love's or any of these truck stops sometimes, but just, uh, this was not really that great of a design either for Pulling up at the end of your fuel island and getting out, it's just not enough room. And then you gotta cross all these lanes of traffic again. So sometimes the placement of truck stops is uh, a little bit odd. Who thought of it? Who, who designed it? But I guess it did. I guess it did the best they could. You know, like there's a fire hydrant right there on the turn of all these trucks. So and it doesn't make.
make no sense, but whatever. That's where it probably had to be, so that's where it is. One day you might have somebody come way too short and hit that fire engine. It'll be a bad day, but it'll be a free rain. A rain shower on a hot day, because it is 88 degrees down here. Got a guy hanging with his puppy over there, getting some work done. So yeah, like if you were just coming in here to stop real quick, like it's uh, it's not ideal because <laughs> then like I can't go left here because there's trucks coming out. So I am just gonna go left though because that guy's not even moving up. It's just really sh it says exit only, say. So you have to go through the um, fuel island. But if you're just coming in here to hang, you're not gonna be going the fuel island, you know. So yeah, now I'm kind of in the way. All right, back it up, Terry. I guess we'll just wait in the fuel line. I got a hot shot coming in behind me. Three different trucks, so yeah, not ideal. You can have a little bit more room for people that are just coming in to stop by, you know? He's pulling next to me. Come on, hot shot. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what he's doing. He's pulling right into that one spot. You good? You go ahead, man. <laughs> he asked me, are you good? Are you going there? I'm like, no, nah, you go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, find the least busy lane so I can get them the heck out of here. Uh, I shouldn't even pull in here, but I, I want to refresh. I mean, the scales even have two trucks on them. Sometimes you can pull through on the scales. You're not supposed to, but... Um, there we go. Find the gear. We've got one truck here, Ardex. And scales are just... So I'm going to stay a little bit behind Ardex. And uh, hopefully those scales clear out and I can just roll back around, but yeah. It's a busy time in the middle of the day too. I mean, it's 11 a.m. But it's just kind of frustrating. Well, I am yapping. I gotta submit my bill still for that last run and then uh, let's see if this guy's, he's not deep, he's not fueling, so. This is kind of the limbo thing. Do you stay here and wait? And then if he pulls up, I'm just gonna be stuck behind him. Like, eh, I'm gonna be quick about it, get in here and get out of here. All right, the scales are pulling up. And Hartland pulled up on the scale, but I don't wanna block it for somebody who I, who's actually scaling, like this guy probably. Or maybe he's just pulling through. There's nobody in that freight liner. They're just uh, parked at the fuel island. It's a frustrating part of trucking if you're not a trucker. Um, I'm like this bobtail pulled up, but now this truck's blocking the walkway. <laughs> and then this guy can't get fuel because he's blocking the walkway. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out one day, right? That's a nice classic XL. I like it. get in here and get out and the whole thing behind it a lot of people will say hey we should pull up or you should go park but in this specific area you'll spend more time trying to get your truck straight and parked blocking everybody else uh, if there even is a spot like there's one spot there but you'd have to come in front of everybody right here and do a u-turn and back in there so this poor guy some people just block the, the thing but hopefully this guy on the scales keeps going and i can get out there We'll see. But uh, Pacific Logistics, it's probably just in there. What are you gonna do, you know? I People get mad about the fuel on thing, but he, he probably could park, but there's only like three spots that I see, so. Just a bad design, put it that way. <laughs> it should be a wide open bed place. So like, uh, kind of for people to just pass through, but let's get that, uh, uh, he stopped. No, he's pulling, cool. Hopefully we can get through that uh, scale and get the heck out of here back in line. So, wish us luck. So we will roll through the scales, luckily. And then it's just a uh, lot of people. Well, somebody's probably backing in right here is what I'm talking about, which is fine. I mean, maybe they need to do the reset. Maybe they're taking a 10 hour. Maybe they're just gonna go get some food, but now it blocks the whole thing of traffic <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> Oh, uh, I love you, loves, but the, the engineers need to take some, some refresh courses. So, uh, getting in and out of these places. Here we go, here we go. All right, the scales are closed.
clear. That red truck's still sitting in that spot that I was behind. But yeah, you're not making it, you're not backing in that spot in front of me unless you do like a complete U-turn. You can't blindside because there's a, another guy parked on the other side of the edge of the parking without a parking space right here on the left. <clears throat> Maybe that one right there you can back into. All right, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's trucking. It's truck stops. Let's get to our pickup. So we are running parallel 95 about, I don't know, two miles to the west or east. This big plant right here to the left with all these PTL trailers and Warners. That's where we're going. And there's some water over here to our left. It seems like paper mills are always by water. I guess they use it to um, kind of help break it down. I'm not sure. Uh, is this our entrance? Da, 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 da. It looks like it. I would say yes. Shipping and receiving port side paper. Yep, we're going paper. Worldwide terminals is to the other side. We'll get out of this flatbed's way. Thank you, thank you. I see one truck down there in a door, so I think that's where we're going to go. Since there's a scale, we probably have to weigh. <clears throat> I love it when they have scales on site. We'll just weigh for fun because I've never been here. Maybe they're weighing raw product coming in. I don't know. Uh, let's just weigh for the heck of it. Plus, it sets us up for a better approach going into those doors if we're going into those doors. Always be careful off these. Stay straight for a long time. You see how it just drops off? There's no guardrails. Um, you can get in trouble. Let's see what we're at today. Empty. 35, one, 35, 160 with me sitting in the truck and over half tanks of fuel. Okay. Our phones are not working. Please keep your truck parked on a scale and walk inside. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Bring our our license, our CDL. Don't sprain an ankle jumping off of this. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So I weigh 260 pounds. I actually weigh like 255, but depends on what I ate that day. No problem, no problem, thank you. Right here, whichever okay. one's open, mm -hmm. slide tandems, chalk tires, pull your airline. Right. Whenever you're loaded, get back on the scale, park like you are, come in here and grab your bill. So go around and come back that way again? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. So whichever one's open, I'll take that first one. I'll take that first one. Let's get off the scale so he can get on. Let's submit our paperwork from the last load and get a little bit of rest while they load us. We're already locked in. Yeah, it's hot out here, so let's use that APU again. <laughs> All right, greenapu.com, guys. Gotta check them out. One of the best APUs out there. Or if not, the best. He just knocked on the door and we're ready to go. Gotta turn the APU off though. And it is, there's no way it's 103. No way. It's warm though. Tandems are slid back again, or, or forward again. And the weight is distributed, distributed. Let's see what we weigh now. We should be, I'm gonna guess 78.5. What do you guys think? What do you think? And going back there, it's just a bunch of like recycled uh, paper towel rolls that are thick and big. Not that's just like rolls, but they're definitely not for paper towels or something else. All right, we are on this thing. 
We're rolling sevens? I like sevens. We were rolling sevens. There we go. Seven, 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 eight. Oh, I'll take that. Let's get in there and get our paperwork. That's it. Uh, no seal. Thank you. All right, so I pulled off the scale because they gave me a little green light and I figured I had the weight, but no seal. So we'll use our own seal, run it on here and we got our bills. Let's get towards the house. I love it when, I wish every love was like this because um, we dropped, picked up, everything was quick and I don't know, you, you, you pray for that all the time. So now completing the loop, coming back from that shipper just now, um, I guess we kind of bypassed the way station so it's saying there's another way station right here so it must have went around it so we had about eight miles once we left that facility to get back to 95 and uh, I've never been back here before so this is new for me but we know we're 77 7 180 so we're good so I guess we hit the way station back here and then you have the agricultural station and then you're back out into Georgia. All right, let's see how this works. So, waste station. It's like a hard right right there. Uh, begin right turn here, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so just a small one right here. Give you a lot of room to turn around. Come on through. But it is DOT week, so you never know what's going to happen. We got one SUV over there. Uh, got a hotshot guy with the flap in. Same drill. Stop before the scale. And then pull on with the scale. It's a really wide scale. I like that. Florida. So we're going to stop at Old Brunswick. Uh, I 
wasn't going to stop, but that truck way up there in front of that RV came on a CB and said he got it on. I said, yes, sir. And he said, um, looks like your trailer tire, I think he said. He didn't respond after, but he said, looks like your rear right tire uh, looks like it's low. I said, okay. I'm going to go ahead and inspect it. We'll go over this TA over here. Um, maybe get some lunch, too, and just kind of go over. I inspected it before we left. Maybe it's just the way he was looking at it, but... Um, there's a light on your trailer, and if that light comes on, then it means your air system that inflates your tires on your trailer uh, is continuously trying to inflate, so something's leaking pretty bad. So that's not on, so maybe it's on a tractor, but I just checked my tractor tires, they were all fine. So maybe we pick something up somewhere. I don't know. We're gonna follow this guy. You see, when I'm turning right here, looking back there, my driver's side's fine. And looking at my mirror from my passenger side looks fine. So we'll see. But the biggest thing is I don't really, you do not want to pop, blow a tire. Have that tread flapping around and ripping stuff apart, ripping off your quarter fenders, ripping off your mud flaps. So better safe than sorry. We uh, will stop just to be sure. And thank you, sir, for reaching out on the CB. Let's see what we see out here. too busy and there's a place across the street also and there's a trick a trailer repair repair place at the end of the street so i feel like this is the best option in case we do need some work done we'll see though yeah there's one truck in there and there's no trucks in the two doors to the right so let's uh swing around find a spot and kind of look over the truck we only got one truck with pulling a bunch of bmws of all things that's waiting to go in. Let's see. Come around here and then swing back around through these lanes right here. Wide open. I'll just use this right here. No, I'm going to call the way around. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, he was coming up on this side. All those drives are perfectly fine. He might have just saw it at a different angle, I don't know. And all of our... Those are all fine. We are really heavy, so maybe he thought it was smushed a little bit. I don't know. But he said it was like looked like it was on the rim. Maybe he was talking to somebody else. But I was the only truck next to him. Huh. I don't know. But well, thanks for reaching out, man. And uh, that's what the CV is good for. It really is. I didn't have one in my Volvo. Yeah, we're fine. Got a little light right there is what I'm talking about. Boop. Right there. I wish it was a little bit further off on the trailer because you can't really see it unless you turn the trailer a little bit. Well, since we stopped here, might as well uh, do something to eat or something. But yeah, this PA always is pretty... Uh, Low, I guess for their service at the end of this road there's like a trailer repair shop so all right so let's maybe cool off the oil because she's pulling hard right now with the uh, heavier weight I'm trying to get over but the truck behind me is letting me in now come on come on just keep moving it's like Schneider got uh, pulled over not that much presence of uh, troopers than I thought but uh definitely some City truck and LLC pulling a Schneider trailer. Uh, I don't know. But we're almost to Walmart. We got a little something special. I'm gonna do a separate video for this reveal, but uh, look for something else that came out today, or maybe I'll go live. Who knows? Well, that was pretty cool. We just met up with Barry. Uh, there's a live feed uh, you can check out. 
uh, that we did right now. So I don't know what time is it, 3.30? There'll be a video probably posted before this one will post, but we're back in South Carolina. It's 91 degrees. But yeah, if you want to stay on live feed, we got something pretty cool today. Now we have to put it on. So a lot of you people that you guys have watched the channel for a while, subscribers, thank you so much. And you, you kind of know what it is. <laughs> but it, it came out great. So check out that live feed to check out the... Uh, it was a surprise, but we're back in South Carolina. We'll be home by about 6.30, 6.30, 7 o'clock, depending on if I stop for dinner or not. Uh, we have another like, game one of Dallas versus Golden State tonight. That should be a good series for basketball if you like sports. But uh, that Luka, Luka Donich guy for um, the Mavericks, I like watching him play, man. He's a hustler. He doesn't have the best body physique or nothing, but he's a basketball IQ and a great shooter. So it'd be good to see him against uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry from the Warriors. We will see, but yeah, watch a little basketball tonight, chill out, and then deliver this tomorrow at 11. And um, yeah, it was awesome seeing you today, Barry. Check them out, Real Trucker 3B, R-E-E-L. And I'm gonna keep rolling up 95.